last year, the energy crisis here in Ghana has gone from bad to horrible. Most people are having to deal with 12 hours of power being followed by 24 hours without. Businesses like this food producing company Blue Skies are even spending about £10,000 every week just to keep their generators running. If you take the first two months of this year, for 49% of the time, we have had no electricity. We can't go on forever like that. We've got to find a solution. What are the options? Well, we bring in a huge amount of fruit every week, something like five to 600 tons. What do you do with that waste? Well, why not use it for biogas? And not just biogas, but also solar panels, because we get uh, uh, normally quite a lot of sun here, and we think we could make, make use of the technology. Storage of that solar energy is quite tricky, but the biogas can run through the night. So maybe the combination of the two would work, but there's huge capital cost. And they're not the only ones looking for an alternative solution because of the crisis. The demand for independent solar energy systems is booming. The stocks don't, don't even last a month here and it's out. Every morning when I, when, when I even open my, my mails, uh, that tons of inquiries, I mean hundreds every morning, hundreds of inquiries. Um, our orders on the high seas, uh, half of it is sold even before the ship arrives. And I believe this trend is going to continue for the, for the six to, to one year. It's going to continue like this. Still, for most businesses, it's a big investment. And it's not always a complete solution. The majority of solar systems are actually being sold on a smaller scale to households. Here at Lakeside Estate, we have built 250 houses which have an integrated solar system, just like uh, this house. Inside it, it has four LED light bulbs. And the reason we have done this is for three important reasons. Number one, this is a convenience. When there's no electricity, you have your own backup solar power. For safety and security, you don't need uh, kerosene lamps or candles. And number three, you have free energy from the sun. This is basically what the government wants to see more of. President Mahama has pledged that by the end of this year, 200,000 rooftops in Ghana should be installed with solar systems. Let us go and buy these solar systems, we'll just facilitate and maybe give subsidies a few here and we know where we're going to take the money from. This is where within the future of real estate development in Ghana should look at including solar systems as part and parcel of the building and that legal backing must be given to this effort through amendment or updating of the building code. But for anything even close to that to be achieved, the solar industry in Ghana has a lot of catching up to do.